Hello guys, welcome to Civil Concept and uh, in this video we will see the estimation of the quantity of materials in a beam. Okay, so materials in a beam means uh, to calculate the quantity of uh, cement, sand and aggregate with the help of this excel sheet. Okay, so I will show you from very basic and you don't have to worry about that. You cannot apply, you cannot run the excel sheet. Okay, so I will uh, show you here step by step method and you don't have to worry about that uh, I cannot run the application excel sheet. Okay, so let's start our video. Okay, so I have a beam like you can see here b1 b1 and all b1 are of the same types its length width and height are same and b2 b2 uh, there are two uh, beam uh, and its length width and height are same okay so let's uh, see in excel sheet first of all make the uh, format of the estimation okay so first of all i will write here s n means serial number okay and after that i will write here item or description of the work or anything member okay for example i am writing here member and now guys you can see here this each area is known as shell of the excel sheet okay so here you can see this letter is coming to this shell so you can uh, increase the length of this shell how will you increase this just drag this column from here to here okay and you can see the length of the shell has been increased okay guys and uh, again after that if you want to increase the height of this a shell then just you have to drag this row uh, up and down then it's uh, this height of the shell will be increased automatically okay so now serial number member and write here length length and is increase its uh, uh, increase its length and uh, after that write here width okay width now height height and after that so you will have what quantity quantity okay now you can also see here this letter is going to this cell so in case its length okay we have done okay we have created a format okay and guys you can see this serial number is uh, in the left side of the uh, this cell okay and member is also in this uh, left side so what we do just select this letter and click here at center and you will see here all the letter has came at the center of this cell okay so now let's see here serial number one for beam okay so we have to calculate the estimation of the beam okay so under beam we have two types of beam okay so there are b1 and b2 beam so we will write here b1 for b1 and here b2 okay b2 so length is length of b1 is how much let's see here length of b1 i am taking the measurement of length of b1 is how much from here to here is 12 feet okay so you can see here the length of b1 is how much 12 feet and all the length of b1 is 12 feet. so how much uh, how many number of uh, beam are there for b1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are 9 number of b1 okay so 9 number of b1 its length is how much its length is 12 feet okay so i am putting here 12 feet and uh, width is how much width is uh, 10 inch so guys here we have to convert all the dimension in single unit either in inch or either in feet either in meter okay so width is uh, how much with width is how much 10 inch so 10 inch here length we have taken in feet so width also we have to take in feet so 12 inch is equals to if you divide this 12 divided by 12 then it will convert it into what inch okay so sorry here we have width is 10 inch only so we have to divide this with 10 guys you can see here on the top of this uh, cell you will see here you can write here formula okay and this formula will applied in this cell okay so enter and it will give us width this much this is the fit okay guys so we have right you can write here also fit okay f t and uh, you can increase the length of this cell okay so increase the length of cell okay it is now looking good and you have to write here in t fit and again i am increasing the uh length of this cell and height should also be in feet so i am right here empty okay 
and again I am increasing the length okay now quantity here uh, for b1 length width and height now we have to write height height is how much one feet so it is uh, already in one feet so we don't have to convert it one feet and quantity so total quantity will be how much it means this multiply this multiply this okay guys so uh, first of all one thing is missing how many beams are there so first of all i am writing here what numbers okay so numbers of b1 beam and then i am writing here quantity quantity okay so again i am increasing the length of this cell okay now number there are how many number of beam are b1 9 we had cal calculated uh, counted already okay so there are nine number now how much will be total quantity so apply your formula to apply the formula in this cell any cell you can use apply formula to apply the formula first of all you have to enter equals to then you can use uh, the calculation mathematical calculation okay so first i have written equals to then i have to multiply this cell multiply and this cell again multiply with the help of keyboard and this cell and multiply with this we have you can see here length width and height is a volume and total number of beam click on enter in the keyboard you will get how much 90 cubic feet and again i am writing here unit okay guys unit so it is in cubic feet okay you can see here this we have calculated the quantity of b1 how much 90 cubic feet again for b2 b2 is its length is how much b2 length is 11 feet okay so length of b2 is 11 feet and again width is 10 inch which is same like this so again we will write here 10 divided by 12 equals to why we are dividing with 12 because 1 feet is equals to 12 inch okay so uh, we have to divide with 12 height is equals to how much height is 1 feet again so we don't have to convert it number of b2 1 2 3 okay so total number of b2 beam is 3 and this and again guys we can use the same formula equals to this into this into this into this okay and it will give us the quantity but here one thing i am learning you here if you drag this cell from here to here then it will its formula will copy here okay so you can see here this uh, according to this formula this into this into this into this will be 27.5 it will automatically calculate it okay guys so this is the uh, main advantage of this excel sheet and very important you know, for the civil engineer okay and this is also what cubic feet okay so we have calculated the quantity in cubic cubic feet again i want to add this okay guys we have calculated the material of this beam and this beam also and at the uh, corner you can see this is a column and uh, when we estimate the quantity of column then we have to take this area okay for the column but now we are calculating the quantity of the beam so you don't have to consider this column area okay so we have taken b1 all b1 and b2 okay now we have to add both the quantity which will equals to this cell plus this cell equals to okay so guys you can see here 117.5 this is also in cubic feet okay now guys we have calculated the total quantity of the uh, concrete okay so this is in cubic feet but we have to convert it into meter okay cubic meter so how will you calculate so you have to know that one cubic meter is equals to 36.31 cubic feet okay so if you divide this cubic feet by 36.31 then it will be converted into cubic meter so you have to do what equals to this divided by 36 point 31 equals to and guys this we have converted into cubic meter okay this is cubic meter okay so we have uh, the volume of concrete in cubic meter but this is guys this is the uh, weight volume okay so we have to convert it into tri volume and this is i am writing here uh, i am merging you can see here uh, weight volume 
of concrete okay so here i have calculated squared volume of concrete so guys you can see here this shell this shell is uh, going to this shell so you can merge this shell to make a larger shell okay so you can see here if we select this and click on merge and center then it will uh, create it like this okay so this is the weight volume of concrete again i am merging this shell okay and writing here dry volume okay dry volume of concrete concrete okay so dry volume of concrete will be how much if you multiply this value by 1.54 okay so it will be converted into dry volume so how how will we apply here equals to i have told you already that when you use any formula in excel set then first of all we have to put what equals to okay so equals to this multiply multiply 1.54 okay guys because 54 percent uh, of the concrete we have to add to convert it into dry volume okay so this is also in cubic meter okay so you can uh, see here we have converted this into dry volume now from this concrete we have to calculate what cement okay cement and uh, we have to calculate sand and now we have to ag calculate aggregate aggregate okay so we have to uh, calculate these three materials okay so first of all we have converted it into dry volume and now what we have to do we have to decide the grade of concrete okay so grade of concrete i am writing here grade grade and i am highlighting it so to highlight this just take this bucket and click and you can see here the, it has been uh, highlighted okay so first of all grade how much uh, grade you are using for m20 m50 for example i am using m20 grade of uh, concrete okay for example m20 grade of concrete i am using so the m20 grade of concrete contains one part of cement and 1.5 parts of sand and three part of aggregate okay guys so this is the grade uh, this is the ratio of cement sand aggregate for m20 grade of concrete but you if you are using m15 m10 m25 then its ratio will be changed okay so for now i am using m20 grade of concrete i am highlighting this also and uh, okay i am highlighting with blue color m for m20 grade okay now for cement what we have to do we have to apply a formula okay okay i am applying the formula for cement so first of all we have to enter here equals to but first of all i am adding this all ratio okay so i am adding all the ratio this plus this i am showing you why i am adding this this equals to okay so ratio sum of this all ratio will be how much 5.5 okay so let i am writing a sum okay so now we will use the formula cement so equals to the parts of cement which is one okay divide this sum okay so this this shell uh, 5.5 and we have to multiply with what we have to multiply with this total quantity of the concrete dry volume okay and equals to here guys you can see this is the uh, volume of cement okay so this is cubic meter okay guys so this is the cubic meter again we have to form, uh, apply the formula equals to parts of sand which is 1.5 okay so part of uh, parts of sand, uh, sand is 1.5 divided by this total sum and multiply and total concrete okay this concrete just we have to click on the cell and it will be set, uh, selected automatically equals to and you can see here guys 1.35 cubic meter of uh, uh, sand is required again i am uh, using the formula for aggregate equals to uh, aggregate part is 3 so right here 3 uh, not 3 we have to select this divide by this sum and multiply and total uh, materials here okay 4.98 and equals to okay guys we have calculated the uh, all the materials in cubic meter okay so these are the uh, materials for the uh, required given beam okay so i am highlighting this okay i am highlighting this now guys this is the cubic meter 
and if you want to convert this cement into bags or kg then you have to multiply its with density okay the cement density is how much 1440 kg per meter cube so i am writing here uh weight weight of cement okay so weight of cement i am writing here and uh, merging it okay so merging it weight of cement will be how much equals to this volume multiply what density so density is how much 1440 and equals to guys this is the kg of cement okay so this is the kg of cement and if you want to uh, convert it into bag so first of all i'm merging this cell and uh, writing here bags of cement bags of cement will be how much equals to equals to this weight divided by 50 because we will get 50 kg of cement in one bag of cement so we have to uh, divide it by 50 and you will guess get guys uh, 16 number of bags of cement okay guys so this is the complete estimation of the beam now now what i am doing first of all i am making it in the border line okay so click here in the box and all border click on the all border and again click on the uh, thick box border and you will see uh, um, uh bold line bold border has been created now highlight this okay first of all what do you do first of all select all the uh, uh, letter and uh, click on the center and uh, the center and you will see all the letter has been came into the uh, center okay so now it is looking good and you can see this letter has not came at the center so click on the center and you will see all letter has been came into center okay guys? so in this way uh, you can uh, make the all letter in the center now i am highlighting these uh, headers so that you will uh, see uh, a good appearance of this uh, excel sheet estimation okay i am selecting this okay so serial number member length all the uh, header has been uh, selected now i am highlighting beam okay so highlighting beam okay so guys if you change any of the number then all the calculation will be done automatically okay for example i have total number of this b2 12 then you can see right here and click on enter and you can see all the numbers has been changed okay so 44 number of bags of cement will require and this much cubic meter of sand required this much cubic meter of aggregate required okay if you change this uh, b1 uh, beam like uh, 16 number uh, right here 16 and enter and you can see all the uh, quantity has been changed and this bags of cement will require 59.96 bags of cement and sand aggregate all the quantity has been given for m20 grade of concrete okay guys so if you are using m15 grade of concrete so its ratio will be what one is to two is to four okay and if you write like this then its sum will also change and all the materials will also be changed okay so guys in this way we can estimate the quantity of materials in the beam and in the same way we can uh, calculate the quantity of material in the column okay so uh, i hope you have learned something from this video please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you